It is 732 now. We've got Storm Team Meteorologist Lene Meyer joining us this morning. We're talking We're about delicious breakfast Yes, Yes, um, squirrel, but that's another story. Squirrel anyway. um, Fog <laughs> was also on my brain this morning. Driving in from southwest Austin, it's pretty bad. Yeah, and it was for me as well, and I think the fog is actually getting thicker as we work our way into this morning, and we're watching the chance for some thunderstorms, mm. not just this afternoon, but tonight as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at our Max Storm radar, and then we'll take a peek outside in just a minute. Luckily, though, I think it'll clear out by Monday morning. So there's a lot to talk about. Hmm. We have those um, runners out and ready That's to right. go at the starting line. And I think right now, other than just being kind of humid, it's not a bad start to the morning for them. They like that cool weather, I think. That little bit of moisture <laughs> may help, yeah. All right, thank you so much, Lene. Well, as she mentioned, the stopwatches are ticking. Runners getting all laced up now for the 38th annual Statesman Cap 10K. KVU's Quita Culpepper is live in downtown Austin for us. Quita, how's it looking out there so far? Well, Reporting live in downtown Austin, Quita Culpepper, KV News. Lots of animated people behind you, Quita, still excited even though the weather's not so great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It is 7.35 now. President Obama is back from Panama now after a historic meeting with Cuban President Raul Castro. ABC's Ty Hernandez reports on the significance of resetting U.S. and Cuban relations. President Obama also met privately with Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro on this trip. This comes after recent U.S. sanctions on seven senior Venezuelan officials. The White House has not disclosed the details of that meeting. Meanwhile, in Washington, D.C., the investigation continues after a man committed suicide right outside our nation's capital. Police say before shooting himself yesterday, the man had on a blue backpack, a rolling suitcase, and a sign about social injustice. Officers locked down the building and nearby streets for two hours there. They do not believe the incident is related in any way to terrorism. The family of the man shot and killed by a police officer in South Carolina have now said their final goodbyes. Walter Scott's loved ones laid him to rest yesterday, one week after the deadly confrontation. Countless people showed up to pay their respects at his funeral. Meanwhile, the officer behind that shooting, Michael Slager, is sitting in isolation at a county jail. Scott's family believes this is all more than a race issue. In some degrees, you know, technology worries me, but this is absolutely just amazing. And Texas families are now going organic, a new affordable trend that doesn't involve going to an organic grocery store. And also a former Longhorn making national headlines. KVU Sean Clinch has more on his big day in Daybreak Sports. Time now is 7.38. You're watching KVU, Austin's news leader on a foggy Sunday morning.